Now, when we think about tackling the energy trilemma of affordability, security of supply and environmental impact, one of the most important aspects is energy efficiency. Schneider Electric is already helping communities across the globe to understand how we can do more while using less. Let's take a look. The world is facing an energy trilemma, sustainability, security of supply and affordability for the future. The UK has to overcome these to ensure a viable energy landscape. At Schneider Electric, they believe a key factor is being overlooked. The energy trilemma ignores the obvious, energy efficiency. And how much of, it, of a concern would it be with a mix of cleaner generation, greater efficiency, and a smarter grid. Media and government have only two schools of thought, which is green energy or low carbon energy. And really as life goes on and we need to use much more and more energy, the best way is actually to save energy and drive energy efficiency. Cities represent 2% of the Earth's surface and most importantly cause 80% of the carbon emissions globally and half of the world's population live in cities. It's about doing more with less. The financial director of a business will be concentrated on the, uh, the, the cost of the energy, the unit cost and negotiating contracts. That's clearly important, but at the same time, the cheapest unit of energy is the, uh, is the unit that you permanently eradicate from, from your supply through energy efficiency. It's about saving money and reducing environmental impact. Schneider Electric is the 10th most sustainable company in the world. We have 160,000 employees worldwide building a company to create a world where we can all do more uh, while using less of our common planet. We digitize the, and connect the energy architecture and this allows us to save energy for those who have access to energy and also we harness renewable energy for those who don't. We design, build, install and service everything from the power plant to the plug in every market, everywhere. If what we know is true, that we have a finite supply of natural resources which are running out, and that carbon emissions is causing climate change, and we're about to spend more on energy in the next 40 years than we have in the last 400, it's little wonder that nine out of 10 CEOs know that sustainability matters. Schneider Electric is working with Plymouth University to help them achieve their goal of becoming carbon neutral by 2030. Employees, faculty and students are all part of that journey. By creating smart communities, the benefits run deeper. Schneider Electric's holistic approach identifies and implements unique solutions. At Plymouth University, they're looking at delivering a 20% per annum return on investment over a five-year period. Well, for the students, it's about behaviour. They're learning about energy management and carbon emissions, which they'll take on into their working lives. Knowledge equals power, but cleaner, greener power. Harnessing R&D to help people, communities and businesses actively improve their energy future. Schneider Electric's Energy University is open to everyone, sharing the knowledge on how to make the change needed to address the energy trilemma. Education is absolutely critical, information exchange, really knowing what the implications are of government policies, regulations, um, the, the cost of energy on society and also the, uh, the pricing signals where we're really driving homes and businesses towards a change in behaviour. We need to educate our people internally so that we can get the key messages out and secondly we want to share this information with our customers so that they can achieve more while using less as we move towards a lower carbon generation mix in terms of, uh, of power, we also see homes and businesses becoming a lot more active in terms of how they engage with their own energy consumption. And that is what Schneider Electric is passionate about. Sharing that knowledge, helping everyone and excluding no one, from the largest organisations to the individual facing fuel poverty.